in. So this is our return visit, nine months on from, uh, from our first visit. Would you like to show us around? Yes, come on ahead. This is uh, coming in by the uh, uh, by the here uh, into the patio, from the patio in. Um, this is our snug room, as it were. And uh, one of the things we decided to change here was to put a media wall in. This caused enormous challenges uh, because we couldn't get the electric to understand exactly what we wanted. And then when he put the plugs in, he put them in the wrong place. And then when we got the, the frame built, the, the, we couldn't get uh, the joiner to understand exactly what we wanted because we wanted to get the uh, sound bar in the middle so it was level. And then we needed all the different connections because the, also our, our, our internet's coming in behind the wall and then going upstairs. So that was another nightmare. So it was. So um, we managed to get it done. It took a lot of time to get it right and to get it to the stage where my wife would accept it, which was the biggest problem, really. As long as it was working, it would have done me. Uh, but uh, that's one of the things that in the house we're building next door, we've automatically booked in. So it's being built without an afterthought. So that can be a lot quicker because this held us back probably a month. So it did in getting it done. So moving through uh, into the kitchen. So come ahead into the kitchen here where we have uh, done an island in the middle, a full uh, ceiling to floor kitchen. One of the things that we did here is we put the hob in the middle of the island here. Now this is what's called a bora hob. So in actual fact, because you, you think when you're cooking here, how do you get uh, all the smells away? Well, this is a special hob that sucks the, all the effluent down through here and goes out. We would have a pipe under the floor before the floor was put in. So it's extracting outside. So it means that you don't need an extractor van. And if you wouldn't, when you're cooking here, you can smell it outside. You definitely can't smell it inside. So, and uh, it was a really good option. Uh, so it was, it means we can get the hob here. We've got two ovens here. We've got an oven and then we've got a microwave and then a, a heat drawer to keep the plates in and then built in a uh, fridge and freezer and then in here is the solid unit it's the end from the back door we came in through the the, uh, the patio so we did and then we we'll replicate the kitchen here with the washing machine and just a tall cupboard okay so one of the things our builder uh, advised we should do is put in what's called a cooker tap and, and i'm sure you've seen them advertised on tv so you have and uh, he had just put one into his house about six months before he built this and he says it's the best thing i ever did and says in fact i because they're quite expensive so they are and he says i fought the wife for about three years and i ended up having to give in and he says now that i've given in it's the best thing i ever did so what the tap does it gives you ordinary cold and hot water but also uh puts this down twice you've got boiling water we don't need the kettle, the kettle in this house. So it's not, and then also we can have filtered cold water and we can also have um, sparkling water. So we have, because they're under here you'll see that there's the, that's, that's the unit, all that is the unit for doing this and then that's the carburetor there for the sparkling water. We've got four uh, siblings and of course when they come with all, they're, they're uh, together, there's a lot of people here. So there is. We have downstairs toilet and shower. Okay, so we're moving on down to, uh, we're coming through into the, into the hallway where we have a, a, a toilet and uh, a shower room. And then this is the front door where people will come in from the front. Now, as we just moved into this house, we're not all completely finished because the big room in here is where a lot of the stuff is being kept. It's just a mess. This is where the, the people come in the front and uh, the current occupiers here have just moved in back in February. So it's, this is a massive room here, but there's a lot of their, their stuff kept in here. So it's their personal stuff. So we're, we're just not going there for an eye. And this is the stairs uh, going up to the second floor. And uh, if you want to come around and see. At the top of the stairs, we move into the master bedroom suite, uh, which is uh, with uh, its own own shower. On suite with a shower and toilet. And a good sized room, and it really with the with a wee bit of cut down from the roof because of, of the, uh, the design of the house, but still I'm six foot, so still plenty of headspace. So there is, which is good, and of course, 
the view is lovely from here. So as we come back out of the landing game, I've got the master bathroom suite in there, uh, which is very good. And also here we have our uh, where our heating stuff is. Here we, because of where we are, we don't have gas here, so we're in oil. And this is just a, a heater tank for the supply of the hot water, an expansion tank. tank. And then this is where our uh, internet all comes into. So you'll see there's quite a lot of IT stuff there. So there is the alarm and then up the top there is the sky box which we have now managed to utilize through each room uh, so we have upstairs and we can watch separately to it which is good as well and at the back of the hall here we have uh, a double bedroom here with an ensuite and a double bedroom here that doesn't have an ensuite so we're at the front of the house now and just to give you some idea you can see the expansion of the area uh, this house will be worth today it'll be worth about 450 uh, so I think we've done a good job of, of, of uh, managing to, to keep the, the cost down and if, it's a timber frame construction which was the reason it was so quick although it took us nine months but that's because we weren't completely clear what we wanted and as the start of the build we changed our mind about a few things so if you come in through here you'll see and um, we have a very large we decided to go for a very large lounge and the people here at the moment of course haven't long moved in so it's, it's in a bit of a mess just right now but this will be an, an amazing room whenever we get so sorted we just got the garage up outside which means a lot of the stuff now can go outside 